that's knife collector here. Welcome to my channel, my name is Henk. Today we take a closer look at the Wii Knife model 604. A few days ago I did the unboxing uh, from the three new models that came out recently, just about two weeks ago. They were shipped at the resellers. So I did an unboxing on the three new models and yesterday I did a closer look at the model 603 and today it is the 604. As all Wii knives till now, five models, since they started branding their own models. Um, all Wii knives come in this box, very nice box, and all come with this nice pouch. In the pouch we find some info. First of all, the business card. And as you can see, the first two models are represented on the business card and one of the corners is cut out with a wee knife probably and on the card some information. Then the cleaning cloth, microfiber cleaning cloth, pretty decent with the wee logo on the cloth and then a set of a, a, a hardware tool for the proprietary hardware the pivot adjustment and uh, the screws also and this particular model has a different size of pivot and the other hardware screws so this one <coughs> comes with two tools for the hardware and then the pouch itself two pockets and a kind of and the pouch itself has two pockets so you can transport two knives in it or just use to store all the items provided with a knife. So the 604 is a pretty spectacular model. Stunning. When I first saw the pictures of this model, also called the Dragon Scale, I was pretty amazed. Never seen such a finish on a frame or on scales with any other knife. This is lots of precise machining. But let me start with the dimensions first. The overall length of the knife is 22.4 cm, so it's pretty long, or 8.82 inch. The length of the blade is 9.6 cm, or 3.78 inch. The length of the frame or the handle is 12.5 cm or 4.92 inch. The thickness of the blade is 4 mm or 0.157 inch. And the weight is pretty amazing for such a long knife. It's only 120 gram or 4.05 ounce. So for such a long knife it's pretty lightweight. This model, this is the 604A, 
there is also at this moment the 604B available and I will break or pause the video right now to show the pictures. Okay, hope you enjoyed the pictures. All these pictures are high res pics from the Dutch reseller Mesenzo.com. I can recommend this reseller because of his awesome service. He's very com communicative, communicative. So he responds most of the times very fast of course there are days that he is very busy and you have to wait a bit longer but I can re recommend this reseller very much also for other European countries he speaks English he speaks Dutch uh, he speaks German etc so the knife where to start it's an awesome piece so many details let me start with this nice tanto blade it's a two-tone flat grind high flat grind tanto shape the black coating is a dlc a stonewashed dlc coating so it's very durable and then the high flat on top of the blade is a kind of brushed satin finish and I am afraid it will not show up on camera very good but it is very very beautiful and then the four millimeter thick blade gets to the edge very thin so I think this is a great cutter because of the tanto it has a very strong reinforced tip very strong tip so this tip will not break very fast the knife is very sharp and with all models I've seen from we right now and I've seen all I've handled all let me put it clear came very sharp and with a very good sharpening job with very even bevels so nothing to complain about that The blade is S35VN steel and we makes very nice details. In this case the steel can be seen just here. Of course it has the proprietary pivot hardware with this nice shield and we logo and then the dragon scales are stunning so nicely done you see the dark stonewash coating and then on each scale the highlights just look at it I, I can't describe it a 
there is no backspacer just two pieces of milled out titanium fit and this is very nicely done and then the incorporated lanyard hole so when you look at the profile it is a very clean profile overall with blades and frame very clean I like this type of finish the lanyard opening hole is big enough to feed some uh, paracord pocket clip as well as the pivot and all hardware is all titanium it's a very slim slender pocket clip but a very thin but it's pretty strong lots of spring so that will not be a problem the only thing which might be the case but I don't know for sure is because of and let me close the knife first before I cut myself is that because of the milled out scales and the tension on the pocket clip it could be a pocket shredder but I don't know for sure one point um, it is screwed on one point on the frame but it's very very sturdy so no movement at all very clean cut out for the lock it's all very nice great fit to finish the frame is milled out pretty heavily milled out hence only the weight of 120 gram or just a bit over 4 ounce and also the inside is very well finished I don't know if it shows on camera it runs on ceramic bearings so it's very smooth and it has phenomenal action very good detent not too strong I don't like too strong detents and if it went past the detent ball it falls almost free so just just the right amount of action let me see if I can show that it's very smooth you don't feel the bearings it sucks in, sucks the blade in so just just good the jimping it does provide some traction but I don't think it is very functional but because of the flipper tab acting as a guard and the handle melts in your hand I don't think you ever need jimping it's a very firm grip this knife will not slip out of your hand the dragon scales offer enough grip traction although they are done very smooth so not aggressive but with these smalls lines on each scale you get a kind of microfiber traction feeling so not aggressive very smooth but traction I can't explain it very good 
So, awesome knife, great looks, very great looks. I think this is one of the most beautiful designs overall in 2016. That's my opinion. One of the most and the closest competitor is probably the 601 model. Although I think the 603 model I showed in the previous video might be my favorite above this one because of how it feels in hand. By the way, it's pretty well balanced. Well centered. No blade play. And out of the box, let me test the sharpness. It is very sharp out of the box. But then again, all knives I've handled so far from me, and there are five models still now, but I've handled I think 10 till now, were all very sharp. So let me know what you think of this knife, of this design. Um, I'm very curious. I think it's amazing. One of the most beautiful designs of 2016. If you like this video, please like it. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you have any comments, ideas, whatever, I will find them in the comment section. I will try to answer all of them. That's it for now. Bye bye.